Well, this game kind of went the way I said it would. Texas really wouldn't show up in the first half, would play really bad, and then the second half still blow them out, and we almost covered the spread. It was 33, won by 31. Dang it. Uh, but i got to say something. Uh, I did not think that the first half would be that bad. Uh, I I was so mad watching that first half. I My, my vision was getting blurry, blurry. I was seething. I was so mad. Uh, you know, and, and props to Wyoming, especially their defense and the crowd. Uh, you know, I said the crowd would be much of a factor in the first half. It definitely seemed like it was. Uh, the team was feeding off that. They kept getting, they finally got a punt block. Uh, they had twice before one, they ran to the kick the other time they got through. Third time, Oklahoma, Wyoming did get the block and got their only touchdown of the game. Uh, but all their points came off of our bad special teams mistakes. Uh, first one, the field goal came off of, we punted. And it wasn't a call from Mac or the or the offense. The punter decided he thought he could get the first down. He couldn't. Uh, got him. You know, Wyoming started off. You know, at about the twelve yard line. Defense held strong. Defense played really well today for Texas. Uh, field goal and then of course a block punt was their only points. Uh, Wyoming offense couldn't get anything going. So defensively, I felt Texas played great. In the first half, Colton, the guys were struggling. I mean, it really. I mean, and it felt like the play calling. We weren't going downfield and using our size and speed. We were trying to. You know do our stuff on the sidelines. I mean, our guys are bigger, stronger, and more talented than Wyoming. That's why they play for Texas and not Wyoming. I didn't understand why we couldn't, when we ran the football, just go right up the gut with it. And when we threw the ball downfield, I mean, Malcolm Williams is bigger than everybody on that field. You know, but, but the guys came up, especially the second half, Colt got his game together, uh, started to look like the Heisman guy he is, didn't play great. Uh, but I love, you know, he, he showed his evasiveness again. Uh, with that one touchdown pass. Uh, Dan Buckner showed up for us at wideout. Of course, Shipley was there. Uh, and Kirkendall. I love the run by Kirkendall at the end of the first half to really get this team going, uh, you know, in there. So, <sighs> Texas wins 41-10, to blowout victory as we should. Um, didn't look good in the first half. Second half looked pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, everyone wants to talk about Oklahoma State. And I was pretty upset about this because I really want Oklahoma State to be undefeated by the time we got there on Halloween night. Man, did they lay an egg. You know, I, I kind of watched back and forth. And I knew Houston had a good offense, and they showed it. And Oklahoma State showed they didn't have a defense. So now you look at it with that Georgia win, possibly one, I think maybe Oklahoma State got a little overconfident, kind of a little let down, kind of play Houston after Georgia. Also, I don't think Georgia has much of an offense. I mean, with Joe Cox and, and those guys, uh, it's not Stafford and Marino. Uh, so I think Oklahoma State may have got exposed. I don't know. All I know is both Oklahoma teams in the Big 12 got knocked out in the first two weeks. Um, but uh, come on, Okie State. you got to play better than that. Uh, but, hey, Texas didn't play too well in the first half, but we took care of business on the road. Now we've got Tech next week. Texas Tech Red Raiders, the guys who ruined our season last year. And I will say this up front, Tech better watch out because I think part of the reason Texas, that I said in my last video, would come out kind of, kind of slow was that look ahead. you got those guys on the docket in Austin, Texas. Look for Texas to come out blazing next week, but we'll talk about that later. Great win for the Horns. Uh, well, a needed win. You know, something we're supposed to have uh, against a very inferior opponent. But congratulations, Wyoming, uh, especially Wyoming defense in the first half. Wyoming offense, just try to stay alive. Uh, but Horns win. That's what matters. We won with a 31-point victory. I think that should be fine in the uh, stat book. So, hook em, Horns, Texas fight, and you Oklahoma Big 12 teams. I need to step it up a little bit.